Hey guys, welcome back. It's so good to know that you're simultaneously, while you're observing and registering my voice and taking everything in effortlessly, also notice effortlessly that there is this infinite space behind you, inside of you, that's a non-space, non-perceptual space, which is not even a space. It's just your intuition of infinity. And it's making you transparent. It's making you non-insistent. It's making your sense of identity transparent to the whole, to the all that is and beyond. Lovely. So this lesson is titled, Everything Belongs to Consciousness, Nothing Belongs to Me. Now again, this is not as much of a method as the previous one. It's more of an insight that you can contemplate and then it becomes a method with your application. Dedication, application. So what became really apparent to me when I realized this is that, and what became such a freeing angle to deepen this realization is that everything that ever occurred to me is occurring to me or shall occur to me, including all my feelings, all my emotions, all my thoughts, all my journeys and realizations and hardship and positive things and negative things and people and loneliness and all the entire experience of my experience when I saw that this all belonged to consciousness, not to me, the me that is the one that's realized when you're in the deflective state of beyond this, beyond this, beyond this. In that spaciousness, non-spacious spaciousness, beyond perception, spaciousness, infinite one, from that vantage point in that quote unquote space of understanding yourself, you can see that everything that's happening is being registered, is having its meeting point in consciousness. Everything is inseparable from the consciousness that registers it. In fact, registering an experience is actually the same as creating and projecting it. Perception, perceiving, and projecting or creating are the exact same simultaneous thing that consciousness does so brilliantly and amazingly. But it all nevertheless belongs to consciousness. There, from the one's point of view, from me as the absolute, as beyondness itself, there has never been a single experience that affected me, belonged to me, or touched upon me. Therefore, everything I've ever experienced, I do not own, including all my stress, including all my striving, including all my suffering. All the suffering that ever happened to you never happened to you. It happened to the consciousness you associated yourself to be. Pretty significant realization. And it's brilliant when you realize it and it feels so liberating. Everything you've ever experienced has never been a part of you, has never applied to you. It has applied to the consciousness that observed these experiences, but you're beyond the sphere of consciousness. You're the infinite peace that can be aware of even the bubble of consciousness, but it's not the bubble of consciousness. Every experience belongs to the observer of the experience because observing it is creating it. In a quantum level understanding, this makes sense. From a physical point of view, not so much. But physical point of view is a very flawed system of seeing. So let's just take the quantum approach. Everything that is projected is simultaneously experienced. We don't experience an outside world. Consciousness is generating it as if it's a dream within itself, generating the illusion of space and time and trajectory. But it's all happening inside of the zero point of consciousness itself. Just like the whole movie is playing itself out within the pixels of your television screen. There is no mountain further away than the person standing in front of it. It's all inside the pixel. The illusion of space-time is generated by alternating colors inside of the pixel. Similarly, all of creation is inseparable from the awareness that is the first distortion of the infinite one. The free will, the ability to create, generate illusion and movement and experience. But therefore also everything that it ever ge generated and experienced belonged to it, not to the one. It's a testimony, it's a tribute, it's a celebration of the one's potential and possibilities. But the one never had anything to do with it. The one will always remain in its infinite peace. And it is up to free will what it wants to generate and perceive and experience. 
but you can disidentify from that perceiver generator experience of the awareness and the free will and realize that you're beyond even all that and that nothing that you've ever experienced ever belonged or applied to you it applied and belonged to the consciousness that is simply appearing in front of your eyes as the one the consciousness that emanates out of the one that is sourced and enabled by the one is what's having and doing the experiences. But since you are the absolute, not the consciousness, ultimately speaking, absolutely speaking, certainly speaking, specifically speaking, therefore you don't own any single one of your experiences. You've never suffered. You have never suffered. Consciousness has and the assumed identities within consciousness have, but you have never experienced suffering. You've never experienced anything. Infinite, endless, instant peace. It's instant healing of all assumptions of I have done this, I have gone through this, this has happened to me. Nothing ever happened to you as the absolute. It all belongs to consciousness. You've always already been free beyond your wildest dreams or associations or identities. Simultaneous to experiencing all the glory of experiences, you are absolutely free, unburdened, untouched, forever and ever and ever. Beyond the realms of time and space and experience, you are the infinite. Rejoice, be happy about this. State that this is an amazing thing because it is and feel good about it in the realm of consciousness.